Florida boy, born and raised from a small town called Green Cove Springs. So I've been in Florida my entire life. I love it here. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I'm in a Speedo for a living, so I want to try to get something to bring out my personality as best I can. Gator, I believe, was actually the first piece growing up in Florida my whole life and then going to the University of Florida where were the Gators, this one made, made a lot of sense. I knew there was going to have to be water in the sleeve at some point. I mean, I swim for a living. I did a black bear, they're native to Florida, and it's my favorite animal. And then I moved around to this inside piece where I wanted to match the flags up with the rings the best I could. And then the eagle up top, all the pieces tie together and just kind of represent me as a person. I love being outside, I love nature, and it looks really sweet. You can blame my brother for pretty much all the tattoos I have. Around 19 or 20, he started a full sleeve. I saw how cool it looked, how it was art. I look up to my big brother a lot, so of course I wanted to copy him. I mean, I went to the same artist as him. We had a family rule. It didn't matter what you were doing, as long as you were doing some type of sport. Football was actually my first love, still kind of is, and soccer. And then around age 12, I just started sticking with swimming. We were weekend warriors as well. We had a volleyball net at our house that was the hot spot for high school, and it got intense. So really, I guess my competitive nature is all geared towards my siblings and kind of, I guess, how our parents raised us. Me and Tyler probably hated each other's guts growing up because I could whoop him at anything, he knows it. I was the annoying younger brother and he was the mean older brother. I hope he sees this interview too. I got a pool table upstairs and anytime he comes down, that's pretty much all we do. We're not even good. It's just, it's something to compete at. My parents never force us to do anything. They just give us the directions or whether or not we take the directions, it's up to us. For me and my dad, it was physical, spiritual, and the mental side of things. That's where I picked up reading, just learning and trying to gather as much wisdom as you can because if I'm picking up a good book, you know, trying to better myself, that's gonna help me in the pool. I'm reading a book called Think and Grow Rich. I just finished reading a book called Slide Edge. It's one of my favorites. I think I've been through it about three times. It's an easy way to better yourself. Why not take free wisdom that someone has gathered throughout their life? And I definitely have my escapes. My drums have been a big part of that. I've got very strong roots in Gainesville, very strong ties. This is the Dressel Farm is the name at the moment. Coming up here, you can breathe and I don't smell chlorine. And I think that's important to a certain extent to have into your life. I do got to get away from swimming at times. I took about six months off before coming to college. It was a rough time. I just was battling the sport. A lot of pressure on me, which is a lot going on in my mind. After the six months off, my first practice back, I remember diving in the water for the first time in six months and just sitting on the bottom of the pool. And it was just the best, most calming feeling I've ever had. I was, I was like getting a hug from the water, like welcoming me back into the sport. Caleb Dressel, the world at his feet. And it, he is 17.63. That is incredible. If I'm being quite honest, Olympic trials, as of right now, is not on my mind. But I like to take things step by step. I work better that way. You can't have this giant picture in your head if you're not willing to put the mundane little pieces together along the way. Of course, the end goal is making the Olympic team. Actually, no, it's not even that. It's just reaching what my goals are, and I'm not gonna tell you what those goals are. So to be quite honest, I don't care what you expect me to do. And I know it's a very selfish approach to it, but I think it's very healthy, and I think it's the healthiest way to go about when your life is revolved around competing. Pressure's completely irrelevant unless it's coming from yourself. This is what I love to do. This is the craft that I love to pick apart and try to get better at. How can I perfect my relationship with the water? Because you're never gonna beat the water. I've tried, it's impossible. I'm in chlorine and basically I'm in every chemical that can dry your skin out and make tattoos look terrible. My brother was great when I first got it in the mail. I put it on right away and I loved it. It smelled great, it made my tattoos look vibrant. I use Mad Rabbit's SPF all the time. I don't want to do touch-ups anytime soon, so if I can keep that from happening as long as I can, then certainly I'm going to be getting my hands on a good product.